Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Field Trips Panama. Welcome back to Los Buzos Resort. We're getting ready to launch right now. We got a new group of clients here coming here to do some kayak fishing in the land of giants for absolutely epic Pacific fish. There's nine of us, ten of us going out in kayaks today. We're fishing right out here out front as we often do the first day of these week long trips. Later in the week, we might mothership to some other spots, but Today, keeping it simple, going straight out, we're gonna try to be teaching these guys how to fish this area, how to catch fish in our fishery. It's gonna be a fantastic day. Light swell, no wind, sunny skies. Couldn't ask for better conditions to start the week. See what happens. Just hang out with go over there towards the group and I'll meet you out there shortly. Paddle! We gotta get out of right here and I can fix it. It's just not cleated down all the way. Paddle on your right side. Go, something else a little bit bigger might be a lot better Ooh. I think I got a bait here guys for one of y'all oh oh man might be too big for bait I don't know what this is oh It's a big, big trigger fish. Help you like this hook up of an idiot just caught. Check this guy out. This is a species yeah, of trigger good? fish. They call him that because of this spine up here on the top. Really gnarly, really big. Looks kind of like a trigger. They got gnarly teeth. Really, really sharp teeth. I've actually seen them bite clean through a hook shank. And uh, we catch a lot of trigger fish here. They're, they're kind of dark gray with an orange belly. They are not good to eat. These guys actually are good to eat. The only problem is they're really, really a pain to clean. But super strong fish, super fun. Thing is fat and has been gorging down there. I think we're gonna keep it just in case we need fish this week. So trying to catch bait for these clients, I've got our XPS jig, which if you watch Field Trips Panama, you're familiar with this thing. We use it all the time. And then I've got two, uh, basically a third of a sabiki rig up above it. And so far, both the fish I've caught were on the sabiki rig. But then if something else bigger down, is down there, got a chance of hitting that. And this acts as my weight. So instead of a weight, might as well put another jig, another hook on it. So a little kind of triple tandem rig here. And uh, I think I've dropped it three times and caught two fish, so. It's working pretty well this morning. Maybe a hair more. Oh, man. Yeah, we need to tighten your drag a little more, but you hear you hear that noise that that's just drag coming out. It's, you're not reeling with it. It's always gonna be easier to kind of pump up and want and reel down. Yeah, exactly. Much, much, much more efficient. Rush here from Florida. It's got something on the diver first thing this morning. And it's it's decent size. I think this is too big for bait, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's pretty good fish, I think. You're doing great with the one foot forward. That's exactly right. Oh, don't let it get in there. Oh, dude. Dude, this is something good, man. This is something good, bro. We got Rush here hooked up to something good on the diver. Maybe something real good. Dude, this could even be a rooster fish, brother. I don't know, so just keep at it. Yep, reel down, try not to slack. 
Wow, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a fish, bro. This is a proper fish here. I don't want to mess this up, so I'm going to get back a little bit till we get it up. Just stay with it. This could be something epic. First, first 10 minutes of the day, man. Just stay with it. <laughs> wow, bro, bro. I'm really excited to see what this is. I'm gonna get out of your way. You're doing great. Just say, look at me real quick. Yeah, start reeling before you start lowering the rod because if you lower the rod first, you'll slack. And that's the only way you can lose it at this point, I'd say. Wow, man. All right, I'm gonna bust the camera out for a second. Look, look, look at this. Rush getting worked by something nice on the diver. First thing this morning. Wow, man. I see him. I see him. Silver. Just watch your, keep it away from your boat. What do we got? Jack Reval, man. Nice one, though, dude. That's a giant. Yeah, <laughs> Sweet, bro. Great way to start the morning. That's a great fish. You want me to help you land it or? Are we gaffing them or? No, no. And you just gotta watch that those, that, those hooks is the main thing. Um, you got gloves on so you can grab his tail. It's not a bad way to do it. Just careful leaning when you go to grab it. But you can grab his tail. It's got something sharp on it, but with your gloves you'll be fine. Careful though, he's gonna, he's gonna take off when you, when you grab him, okay? Like that. You want, you want to? Yeah, you grab him. Look at that, dude. That ain't a bad start to the morning. I want to get him on your lap for pictures, but uh, we got to be careful with these hooks. Um, so why don't you oh, let some line out, and we'll put that. You can put it in this rod holder behind you right here. It's not going off. All right. Now, other fish, you'll, you'll grab them. Like in here, and you can grab him that same way, kind of. Yeah. But just want, yeah. got him good. Yep. All right, brother. Nice work, man. Good Thank job you. getting that thing in. I just toss him back head first over on this side. Whenever you're ready. Side, this side. Yeah. Nice, dude. All right. Great way to start the morning. Will work out. Yeah. Got your blood pumping. Yeah. <laughs> Mark is here from Germany. Just caught a nice yellow snapper on a chunk of that trigger fish that I caught earlier. Look at that, that worked. That's bingo points and uh, that's dinner as well. Nice work, man. Mark is here all the way from Germany. Okay, man, you still got bait. Dude, that's a great one. Yeah, that skin's really good about keeping that on there. Brother, great fish. Yeah. So that is a yellow snapper. That's the third biggest species of snapper we catch out here after the Kuberas and the rock snapper, the barred pargos. But just a beautiful fish. You can see why we call them yellow snapper. Got that bright yellow tail. And uh, that's a good one. They don't get too, too much bigger than that. That's a really nice one. Got some serious teeth on them. If you can see that. Very cool. Marcus here from Germany. The great fish for dinner. Might have been a turtle. Oh yeah. Yeah, let it run. Oh no. We got a kayak in the water, Dakota, Dakota, Dakota. You all right, mate? All good. All good. You got the rod still? Yep. I think you still got the fish on. Ah! Oh, and it just pulled. Oh, you, okay? you got pulled by a fish. Yeah, your drag was set too tight to start. Oh man, it, it happens. Still got it? Yeah, still on it. 
Oh yeah! And he's still on! He's still got it! <laughs> oh wow! Look at that! How oh, epic is that? Yeah, oh my gosh. What's your name again, man? Alex. Alex here from Australia. He's fishing for us one day. He's friends with our buddy Al. Him and Eddie came out over here to, to do one day of fishing with us. Oh, keep up with it. Just got flipped by a huge fish immediately. But it looked like it was still on, now I'm not sure. Man. And it looks like it spit it after all. Wow. He had a second chance at it, but got the better of him and looks like spit the bait. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> Bait's still alive? Rooster. I bet it was a rooster. Oh, no. Ooh. Slashed. <laughs> he said, now Al's never going to let him live it down. That was a good fish, man. That's why it's super light drag to start. Yeah, yeah, I just threw it off. I played it 10 seconds, I got it too. Uh, he should have waited till he got it. Yeah, man. He was ripped. That was a good fish, dude. That was something huge. <laughs> the land of giants. Alex just got drugged to the bottom by a big fish. Whoo, a little excitement. All right, guys, we have the first guy to get drug overboard by an enormous fish. Alex just got flipped by something humongous. Y'all make sure that we grab that rod with a drag light and then uh, get your rod to the front of the boat before you engage that drag. Don't worry, I got your granola bar. <laughs> I don't see anything else. Hey, um, let's go ahead and follow that bird that's offshore. I think there's some tuna on it. So if you want to throw your diver or a popper, you can even use your XPS jig. That was something big. You want this? <laughs> That's all I found. <laughs> That's all I found, man. I'm sorry. Dude, you really are. Darren has about 50 dolphins following him wherever he goes. This school of bait is staying underneath his kayak, and the dolphin just go wherever he goes. It's so funny. So the school of bait jumped out from under Derrett. Now the dolphin are just crushing it. We found a little school of bait and the dolphin had corralled it. Just hitting it from all sides. There, got a fish. Catching bait out here too for these guys. Oh yeah. What a beast. What a beast. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I was able to stab a few and catch a few for bait. Bro. It's been crazy here, but this green water just moved in. Yeah. He just lost something on that Sierra mackerel that you put on for him. Oh, really? Yeah. Rush just got broken off. Uh, he's got another rig though. He's okay. He said. Uh, what the f is that? Then like they'd sit under the under the boat, and we're just gaffing them from the side. Are you serious? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Can I get one? Yeah, absolutely. I've never seen that fish. No, they look like like blue and yellow of the rojitos, the little red ones with the black dots. 
don't they look kind of like the same family? Kinda. That's a weird mouth. They're out there getting. <laughs> I have never seen that. It's pretty sick though. That is a cool looking fish. Wow. Get on. Salas. Salema, yo creo. Salema. Nunca mi vida lo vi. Everybody need a bait? Yep. Oh. Something on the bait catching rig. <clears throat> Tipped it with a little bit of bonita. Cut up bonita. Oh, it's something pretty decent. Light setup, so it's hard to tell, but something decent down there. Jeez, what is this? It's thumping like a grouper would, but not as big, obviously. But Be careful, I got a couple sabikis on here and the XPS jig, all really light tackle. Oh gosh. It's something. Oh yep, yeah, big trigger. Another big trigger fish, I think. He's cool, he's got yellow on him. Yeah, way in there strong. Really strong fish. Get up here. Golly. Not giving up. Oh wow, that's not a, what is that? How oh, cool is this? I've never seen this thing before. What are you? Wow. I don't know. Look at this thing. If it's blue, be careful. If it's blue, be careful. What on earth is this? I just got something I've never seen before. I don't know what this is, you guys. This thing's beautiful, though. Victor, 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 Mecopia, Victor. All in. All right, get these hooks out of here. I don't know what that is, you guys. Anyone has a fish ID, let me know. Some kind of reef fish, hit it right off the bottom. Freaking fighter, man. This thing was digging like crazy. Super fun fight. What a cool looking fish. Wow. Well, super cool. Not exactly sure what this is. Try to get a fish ID later and I'll put it up on the screen and I'll find out. If not, comment down below, let me know. Super cool fish, some kind of reef fish. He's got two backwards facing barbs on his tail. Really gnarly looking. And there he goes. Not too, I mean, you know, five years coming here, still finding stuff I've never seen. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Marcus from Germany here is on again. Oh yeah, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Nice. That's a rock snapper. That's dinner too, man. Mark is on a roll. Already got a nice yellow snapper. Now he's got a good rock snapper. That's the second biggest species of snapper we get here. Working your way up. Great job. Look at that, look at that. Nice one. Look at that, man, great yeah. fish. Marcus here from Germany, just getting it done today. Beauty, man. Beauty. They're good to eat too. That's gonna be dinner too. Oh yeah, they're strong. Right, exactly. Normally we catch them on smaller rods, but hey, that's that's yeah. they they pull. Okay, I got them. Okay. Man, that's a pretty good one too, man. Yeah. That's a pretty good one. They get bigger than I that. Half an hour of small fish nibbling on the bait. Uh huh. And then he, he came. And then the, he he didn't nibble, huh? He didn't nibble. <laughs> Ow. <laughs>
Don't let him jump. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a rock snapper or barred pargo. It's the second biggest species of snapper we catch out here after the Kuberas. Sweet fish. He already got a yellow snapper, which is the third biggest. Now he's got the second biggest. Now he just needs his Kubera and he's got the, the snapper hat trick here. I have well, I have that thing you gave me, the mystery fish. No, okay. no, bro. Oh, I didn't want to throw it at you. Yeah. But now I would. Derek made it back in shore from playing with the dolphin, and he's already hooked up. Fishing machine. Fish. Yes, sir. Put that rod away, put that rod away. Derek came over here, dropped down a chunk, hooked up immediately, he's gonna hand it off to this client. We got Robert back there filming. Ah! <laughs> oh, there you go. Capitan Cortez handing off something pretty good on this mystery fish they found offshore. Rush here from Florida. It's already caught a nice jack today. What is it? Oh, a big what? Oh no. White tip shark. I've never seen one of those out here. Any bait available? Look at this, white tip shark. That's a new species. I haven't seen those out here. Ooh, pretty good size. Yeah. Get them in your lap for a picture? Yeah. <laughs> it's not happy. White tip shark. How cool is that? Only seen them on the Animal Planet. And it bit him off, broke him off. Shark is gone. Pretty cool. White tip shark, new species. We got Rush here, he thought he was hooked up into a rock and it ended up being a rooster. Just don't let that line slack. One foot forward, one foot forward, one foot forward. So they got a pocket right in their gill plate. S slide your hand up in there and your fingers should go right to it, grab it and throw it up in your lap. Hell yeah, man. Just be careful, that thing's barely hooked, barely hooked. When you go for it, commit, gotta commit. Gotta commit. How's the hook look? Can you not good, not hook? good. Gotta commit. There you go, right in your lap. Heck yes! yes. There nice. you go! There it is! Got the rooster. Nice. So what, you were you thought you were hooked up in a rock or? Yeah. And then it ended up being him? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Be careful. Rush here from Florida with his first rooster fish on his lap. Now hold him really good. Look at that. Nice, buddy. Whew. Great work, man. Can you pedal forward to him and he's gonna take some pictures for you. Easier said than done, I know. I'm getting out of your way. Oh! <laughs> it's okay, man. Swam off strong, that's good. I can get screenshots, so don't worry. We got plenty of screenshots. Yeah. Right. Nice. Nice, man. Yeah, I got sweet slow-mo. That'll be good screenshots. I think Marcus just hooked up right next to me. Marcus here from Germany. Looks like it. So yeah, he's got something. Oh yeah, buddy. That's something good. If it's a fish, you need to pump up and wind down. It's a much easier way to get those fish up than just reeling. There you go, look like a professional. Oh man, oh, yeah, heck yeah Marcus. Just try to keep that rod off the gunnel if you can. I know it's hard. 
Hopefully this is one of the two species everyone flies around the world for. Cooper or a rooster. We'll see. There you go, Marcus. Keep the pressure on him. To the rod, right, just in front of the bird. And one foot forward on your pedal. Oh, man. It's a good fish. Keep the pressure. It's something good, I know that. Stick with it. Oh yeah, I see color. I see a lot of silver. A lot of silver, man, a lot of silver. Oh yeah! There you go. Just keep the pressure on him. Oh yeah, I see color. I see a lot of silver. A lot of silver, man, a lot of silver. Oh yeah! There it is! Careful. Careful up to the side like that. There you go. Got you. Got you. It's a rooster. It's not done yet. Keep one foot forward. Okay. And you know how to land them, yeah? Where the gill pleat meets the jaw, but just take your time. He's probably going to make another big run when he gets close to the kayak. Oh, yeah. I can also help land it. You just say the word, okay, when it comes up. Just whatever you want. Slide your hand up in there and just grab on, hold tight, and bring it in your lap. Or do you want my help? You just let me know. Yeah, Robert, if you want to help him, I yep. can film you. So Robert's gonna come help Marcus here land this rooster. Can you bring him over to this side? There you go. Just try not to slack it, just take your time. Nice and easy, guys. Yep, take your time. Okay. Okay, now if you can lift them up. I know easier said than done, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, nice and easy. I may have to let go, so just be ready. Oh, great fish. Let's go! Nice! How about it, Marcus? Oh, great job. Dude, you're crushing it this week. Okay, one second. Yeah. Hey, you see where I got him? Yeah. Just I don't touch the red, okay? Yeah. In there, just nice and easy. Take your time. Yep, on the other side. Yep. How about it, guys? First rooster! Yeah, all the way from Germany. There it is. <laughs> Nice, bro. Field trips, Panama, baby. Beautiful fish, <laughs> man. Yeah. First rooster for Marcus in the boat on his lap. Careful. Yeah, get that hook out and then just head first straight down and he should swim off strong. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Marcus! Is that the first rooster fish from a German? <laughs> Do you have those back home? No? No rooster fish in Germany? <laughs> they fight a little harder than the pike? A little bit. Good job, Marcus. Yeah! It's raining. Cold. 